The binomial theorem. In this video, we will start with binomial expansion. You will find this on page 78 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Binomial expansion. We learned about polynomials in ordinary level mathematics. A binomial is an expression with two terms such as a plus b and, and or 2x minus 3y. In ordinary level we also learned how to expand the square of a binomial expression, for example this. But what happens when we multiply a binomial by itself many times? Let us explore what happened in the following investigation. Now, you can look at this investigation and you can work it out. I just start with it and you will find a nice um, the answers of it in the teacher's guide. Okay, but basically if there's zero, okay, zero is just one. And if it's one, I'm looking at the coefficients, okay? So complete the following by writing down the coefficients. So one and one. And then it was one, two, and one. And I did for you just one there. And it was one, three, three, and one. So it was one, three, three, and one. And how I do this, basically, I'm just now, so let's just look at this one. One plus two is three, two plus one is three. So if I want to continue this, I will just say one plus, it's four. Oh, that color is not nice. That's four. Three plus three is six. Three is four. And then one, one. And then I can continue. Five, ten, ten, always the two above I add and 5 and then adding the ones and then this one will be 6 15 20 15 6 and I'm adding the ones okay so this is our and so that will just be the way how I find the coefficients of if I'm going to make the bracket up to 3 4 5 or 6 but at the end, and I'm just going to make it a bit bigger so that you can see. Okay, let's just read here. The investigation reveals the following. The coefficients of the terms in the expansion of this form a pattern represented by Pascal's triangle as shown below. And that I showed you how you continue doing this. But let's look at an example. Let's see how we can use it if you want to expand that brackets. I'm going to make it a bit bigger because the numbers is otherwise a bit small. Okay, let's start. Expand each of the following. That is up to 8 and that is up to 10. So in this example, use Pascal's triangle. Later on, we will uh, use the binomial theorem, but for now, Pascal's triangle for the coefficients. So the index of the first term is 1, starts at 8 and decreases. Okay, so 8, 7, that, that is the index of the terms. Okay, can I just say? So that is of the x terms the x so it will be 8 can I just show you here I can highlight it it's oh it's too dark so it's 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 and there's no x okay the index of the second term y starts at 0 so there's no y and then it's 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8. Okay, so that's the index, the exponents. Okay, then I use Pascal's triangle and it's in this row. So I'm just going to 1, 8, 28, 56, 70, 56, 28, 8, 1. Because remember, I'm just adding the 2 on top. Um, so I take this row and I just write it as the coefficients. And that's how I do it. So, if you want to do now with 10, I'm going to use this coefficient. Can I just show you here? And then I'm just going to, this is A, so it's 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. And then I'm going to nothing, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that's how I do that. And then that's the row there. So to, to complete Pascal's triangle is not very difficult. I just always take the sum of the two that's a little bit on the on top, which is a little bit on the left and a little bit on the right. And that's how I do it. So for now, just up to 10, I think it's very good if you can make use of Pascal's triangle. Okay, later on, and in, especially in exam, you can decide yourself. Okay, I want you to stop the video and I just want you to do, okay, let's just make number one. I think just number one A. Okay. Uh, and, and, and I want you to leave B, but I want you to answer that question also. And then uh, I want you also use but to write terms and write the terms in the expansion. This. Okay. I want you also to do number two. And again, you can stop the video as soon as you are finished. I just want to make it a bit smaller and then we can start. Okay. Okay. Expand each of the following. So if I start with number 1a, let's just go for p plus q, okay? And that's to the power of 7. Now, remember, I think the best will be first to go and, and have that row. So if you have that row, it's going to be, that is the 7, Okay, so it's this one. Okay, so if I'm going to write, I'm just going to write first. It's going to be, I want to take another color. So it's going to be one, and, and luckily it's positive. Okay, I will now show you. Oh, I didn't show you this negative. I didn't highlight this negative. I'll do it now. Okay, so this is one. And then uh, it's going to be 7. But because it's positive, it's fine. Okay, 7, uh, 21, 35, 35, 35, uh, after... F 35, it's again 21, and then 7 and 1, and 1, okay, now it starts with P, so if I'm looking at this, because it's 7, so this is P7, this is P6, P5, P4, P3, P2, P1. Okay. And now this is having no Q. And then it's going to have Q, only Q to the power of 1. Then Q2, Q3, Q4, Q5, Q6. And then this will be Q7. And then it's just going to be, all of them is going to be plus. I want to just go back to that example. I want to show you something. What do they say here? When it's a negative, it's exp uh, expanded, the terms alternate between positive and negative, starting with positive. So if it was negative, it starts, okay, it's just positive one. So positive one means it's the front one, and then negative. Positive, negative, po so there, it starts with the positive in front, and then goes the negative. But if it's positive, all of them will be positive. Um, it will be terms, and I, I must make a little bit bigger that we can see. Okay, now the expansion, there will be n plus 1 terms, so there are 10 plus 1, there are 11 
terms. Okay, so basically it's just saying to you this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Do you see? It was eight, but plus one. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It will be one more. Okay, so if I go back to my, um, what do you notice about the sum of the, in each term? Okay, let's just go back to my question here. I'm going to make it a bit smaller. Okay, but let's first count the terms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So do you see there's one more? Uh, if there are two variables, the sum, so what do you notice? Do you see every time? Six plus one, seven. Five plus two, seven. Four plus three, seven. Three plus four, seven. Two plus five, seven. Three, six plus one, seven. So... If I want to answer the number C, I can see if there are two variables, the sum of the indices in each term is the same as the index of the original bracket. Okay, that's in a nice sentence. So basically it's just saying if you add this to you will get that answer every time. Okay, let's go on. Let's do number two. You're supposed to write down the expansion. Okay, I know I'm so sad. Okay, um, oh, there I was asking you this one. That's very good, the negative one. Okay, so let's just start with number two. Uh, that was six. Now, where is six? It was just one up. Again, I want to clean it first and then show you. Here is the six. Okay, so it's this one that I'm going to do. So I'm going to first write it down, and that's going to be 1 plus b, and that's to the power of 6. And that's going to be, let's first write it down. So you must have Pascal Strelanko, otherwise you have to quickly write it down for yourself. And, and you just start with it like that. Can I just maybe say, you start with a 1, and then a 1, 1, and then... You, you go on, 1 and 1 is 2, and then you add 1. So this is the first, this is the second, this is the third. Okay. But for now, I just want to clean this. Then I'm going to just have 1. Oh, this is go. 1, 6. 15, 20, 15, 6 and 1. Okay. Now, in this case, don't forget, this is not, there's not a constant, so it will just be B, but, but it starts, B is going to start here. And then, because it's the second one, B2, B3, B4, B5, and this will then be B6. Okay. Now, because it's positive, then it will just be all positive. Okay. So, if I go now, and this is very important because I want to touch that negative, deduce, and, and so it's just from that answer, write this one. 1 minus y and then it's also 6. So it's, it, you, the coefficients will be exactly the same. So it's 1, 6, 15, 20, 15, 6, 1. Okay, but now, remember what I said, it starts with positive, then it will go negative. Okay, then positive, then negative. So there was my, it starts with positive. Negative, positive, negative, 
positive, negative, and then the last one, positive. And instead of, because this was B, now it's just Y. So it's Y, this is going to be Y squared, this is Y3, this is Y4, this is Y5, and this is Y6. And that will then be my final answer. Okay. It's very good. Practice the rest. It's always good to just know the longer method also, because the other one can become also a little bit complicated.